Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the end behavior of this polynomial. Now, basically when we determine end behavior, the main important thing we wanna do is make sure that we have our um, polynomial in, descend in descending order, um, or descending order of our powers, which of course we have our highest exponent here, which is gonna be the degree of our polynomial. And then we don't really have any more monomial or any more terms going down, um, but five is definitely a smaller order than three x to the fourth. Now we just need to determine our degree and our leading coefficient of our polynomial. Well, the degree, again, is our largest power, which in this case is four, and our leading coefficient in this case is three. Now, when determining end behavior, the degree, we're only really concerned on if it's even or odd, and since and four is an even number, and our leading coefficient, we really are only concerned of if it's positive or negative, and three, in this case, is positive. Okay, so now that we basically have an even degree, um, remember, our leading coefficient test tells us if that we have a even degree, our graph either opens both up or it opens both down. And if it's positive, then therefore our graph is just going to open both up. So therefore our graph, I don't really know what the graph is going to look like, but I know it's going to rise to the right and it's going to rise to the left. And all in between is you know really going to be um, is really what we'll learn you know, later, but basically we're just concerned about our end behavior. So if you're looking at this, if you want to write this formally, you can say that it you know, rises right and it rises left. Or we could say, you know, here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. As my points on my graph, my x values go to the right, so as x approaches infinity, as it goes towards infinity, my y values of each of these coordinates also go to infinity. y approaches infinity. And then as x approaches negative infinity, so as my x values go to the left, which would be negative infinity, my y values also um, still approach, though. So as it keeps on going to the left, my y values still approach infinity. Still, they're going up. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine and write and behavior. Thanks.